everyone. Uh, we're learning Yishayo Perik Tes. Uh, and again, a very, very difficult sefer. Uh, and at the end of Perik Ches, uh, there was a nevua about the exile of the ten tribes. And after Sancheirev exiled the ten tribes, he turns towards Malchus Yehuda. He decimates and destroys a lot of Malchus Yehuda. But miraculously... His army will fall at the gates of Yerushalayim. 185,000 people will die. This will occur during the reign of Chizkiyo Melch Yehuda. It is one of the miracles that we celebrate the night of Pesach. And uh, although Yeshayo is talking about this in the reign of Ahaz, just as he is giving a nevuah about all the calamities, he will also give a nevuah about the great, great nes that will happen in Yerushalayim. The nation that was walking in darkness. The whole city of Yerushalayim will have daigas about Sancheirev. Ro or Gadol, they will see a great light. They were dwelling in the shadow of death. Or Noga Aleim, a light is shining upon them. Here Besa Hagai Lai, you have made a nation great. Higdalta HaSimcha, you have made the Simcha. Uh, very, very great. Samchu lefanecha kesimchas bakotzer kasher yagilu bechalkam shalal. You have given them the same simcha as one has when they harvest a crop, as one would have in a successful war when we get shalal. Ki es ol subalo v'es mate shechmo, because the yoke of his burden, Sancheirev, and the stick that he's wielding from his shoulder. Shevet hanogesbo, the shevet, the scepter by which he oppressed you. Hachi taisa, you, Hashem, in your rachamim, have broken. Now this is in the past, although this is a future nevuah. Ki midjan, just as you did in midjan in the time of the shoftim, the days of Gidain, where all of the midjanites were defeated at night, this will happen with Sancheirev as well. It also was the first night of Pesach. Kichal sa'on so'an berash. Because all of the tumult that it's making in war, right? all of the tough war that it's doing, v'simla megulala badamim. Its garments shall be roll, rolled up in the blood of its own corpses. For Haisal this Rafa and all of their wealth and all of their power shall go up in fire, Miacholas Aish, to be consumed by the flame. And then the Pasuk says, Ki Yelad Yulad Lanu, a child has been born to us, Bain Nitain Lanu, a son has been given to us, Vatihi Ha Misra al Shikhmai. And the authority has been put on his shoulders. Vayikrashmai, and his name shall be called Pela Yoetz, a wonderful advisor, Kael Gibor, a mighty god, Avi Ad, an eternal father, Sar Shalom, Prince of Peace. So again, I, I need to talk about this Pasuk uh, right away. Uh, again, the, the Christians, Lahavdil, use this Pasuk to refer to Yashka, whatever it is, that Yashka is a god and, and uh, eternal father. It's a Dover Pasuk that this Pasuk is not talking about Yashka, and this Pasuk is not even talking about the eventual Mashiach. This Pasuk is talking about the great miracle that occurred at the gates of Yerushalayim, under the reign of the righteous king Chizkiyahu, who could have been Mashiach, had the generation been worthy. And what Yeshayo is saying is that the great miracle that 185,000 soldiers of Sancheirev are going to be decimated at the gates of Yerushalayim is because there was a king, a son that was born to the wicked Ochas, who is righteous and holy, 
and was not only a tzaddik in his own right, but brought Yerushalayim to tshuva. And therefore, this is not about Yashka. This is about Chizkiyo. A child has been born to us. And now, then the question becomes, well, was the child called God? So here's the way Rashi learns. Hashem, Vayikra Shemai, Pela Yoet Kel Gibor Aviad, meaning HaKadosh Baruch who is wondrous in his Eitzah, who is the mighty God, who is the eternal Father, that's the subject, called Chizkiyo, Sar Shalom, you will be the prince through which peace will come to Eretz Yisrael. See how Rashi learns that Vayikra Shemai Pela Yoyetz El Gibor Aviad Hashem, that is Pela Yoyetz Kel Gibor Aviad called Chizkiyo Sar Shalom. Now that doesn't mean that was Chizkiyo's name, but it means he gave him the Kayach, the ability to bring Shalom. So that's how we learn. So it's not even a remez to Mashiach. It is simply describing Chizkiyo. But then it goes on. Lamar Misra To increase the rulership. Ula Shalom And to bring Shalom without, a, without an end. Al Kisei David Valmamlachto. On the throne of David and the Malchus based David. Lahachin Aisa Ulasada to prepare it and to strengthen it with Mishpat so the kings will do justice and stucca and charity as well, Rachamim. Miyata Viarola, may it be forever. Kinas Hashem Subakos Tasazais. It is the zealousness of God that will do this. Now, here already, Chazal do say <coughs> that this is a remis that the Mapala of Sancheirev would have been the war of Gaig and Magaik. And Chizkiyo could have been Mashiach. And that's why it says it would have been Shalom and Kates, there would be eternal peace. The Malchus, space David, would endure forever. This is the potential that Chizkiyo could have been Mashiach. And the Mapala of Sancheirev would have been the war of Gog and Magog. In fact, Chazal say that is why the word Marbe, increase, is written in a funny way because the first Mem of Marbe, which should be a regular Mem, is written as a final letter at the beginning of a word and that's called Sosum, closed up, as if to say there should have been a revelation of Mashiach, but it was Sosum, it was closed up because the generation was not worthy. So that completes the idea of the Navua of Yerushalayim. Now we move back and we talk about the general Musr of the ten tribes, or against the ten tribes. Davar Shalach Hashem Biyakif. Hashem has given me a message to communicate to Yaakov, Yaakov of the Ten Tribes. The Nafal be Israel. And this message will fall, it will turn it will become true. The Yadu Ha'am Kula Ephraim Vyashev Shimran. And all of Malchus Ephraim, that is the name we give for the ten tribes, because the kings came from Ephraim, and those who dwell in Shomron. The gaiva of the gaido leva of lemar, they dwell with arrogance. Gaiva. And they say, no matter what happens to us, we're going to succeed. Levenim naflu. If our brick houses fall, Gazis nivna will rebuild it with cut stone, more expensive. Shikmim gudo, if sycamore trees get cut down, Arazim nachlif will replant with cedars. The arrogance, the gaiva, for Yisage Hashem as sorry with sin of love. And this gaiva is manifest in Pekach making an alliance with Ritzin. So Hashem says, Your alliance is not going to fall through 
because I will raise up the enemies of Ritzin. Again, that's Ashur. Against Ritzin, I will stir up the enemies of Ritzin. Syria will be buffeted from the east. The Pelishtim will be buffeted from the west. And the Jewish, the ten tribes are going to be hit no matter what. And Bechalzais, Loi Shavapai, Vyoid Yadain Natsuya. This is going to be a refrain several times. And with all of this dislocation, God's anger will not be spent, will not be finished. And his hand is still going to be outstretched. And Malchus Yisrael is not going to get a tshuva and return to the one that is hitting it. That's Hashem. As Hashem tzvakos lo darasha, they will not seek Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Vayachrei Hashem Yisrael, reish v'zanav kipa v'yadman yaymechad, and Hashem is going to take away from the ten tribes the reish, the head. The tail, top to bottom. Kipa, the Agmain. Kipa is a branch, and Agmon is the hole in which you plant a tree. Yom Echad. Destruction. Al Kain, Al Bachurav Lo Yisma Hashem. Hashem gets no Nachas from the young, confident Bachurim of the ten tribes. Es Yisema, Vies Almen Aisav, Lo Yerachem. He will not have mercy. And the orphans and the widows. Kihulo chanaf umeira umeira. The nation is a nation that flatters Rishayim and does evil. Bechol pad daiver nevala, and every mouth speaks filthy speech. And therefore, once again, the same refrain. Bechol zais loishavapai. God's anger is not finished. His hand will still be extended. The evil will burn like a fire. It will eat up the weeds and the thorns. As if to say, Malchus Yisrael is no better than a bunch of thorns that catch fire. Vatitzat <coughs> specifically hayar. And the fire will tear down the big forest, the mightiness, the arrogance. And the smoke will rise in haughtiness. As if to describe a fire that rises, as if it's, it expresses a gaiva now. The land has been scorched with the fury of God. And the nation will be consumed by fire. Yet this is, this is the ten tribes. Ish elochiv lo yachmolo. And brothers will not even have compassion. Jews will turn against Jews. They'll perhaps make deals with the enemy for to get food or whatever it would be. Vayigzar al yamin. And a Jew will turn to the right and steal food. Vara'ev and he'll still be hungry. Vayechal al smile, he will turn to the left and take food and eat. Velo saveyu, but there won't be enough to make him satisfied. Ish besar zaraya yechelu. And eventually there will even be self cannibalism. A person might gnaw at his own arm. Menashe es Ephraim. Ephraim es Menashe. Menashe will turn against Ephraim, and Ephraim will turn against Menashe. Yachtov Hamal Yud, and they'll turn against Malchus Yehuda too. And Bechalzais. So again, it's describing the tumultuous confusion of the exile of the ten tribes that will take place in these different stages. Leishavapai, Viaid, Yadai Natuya. Hashem's anger is not finished. And his hand is still going to be outstretched.